the race to give you and I an astronaut's view of planet Earth just got a little more crowded. But the latest company to throw their hat in the ring, they don't want to take you on a rocket. They want to do it on a balloon. Okay, maybe not exactly like that. The company is aptly named Space Perspective. For around 125,000 bucks, passengers will take a trip to the stratosphere in a pressurized capsule suspended from this balloon named Neptune. So you'll see the blackness of the sky, you'll see the curvature of the Earth, the thin blue line of the atmosphere. That's co-founder Jane Poitner, who I had a chance to catch up with about Space Perspective and its mission. I think it behooves us to have this experience, this visceral experience of seeing our Earth in space, which by all accounts from astronauts really does give you a visceral experience. It is no longer a leap of imagination that we all live on this planet together. It becomes very real. If Pointer looks familiar, she was one of the eight people who lived in the now somewhat infamous Biosphere 2 in the early 90s. She says that experience helped lead her to create Space Perspective. Having these exchanges with all the plants around me, right? My uh, CO2 was creating the plants, they were giving me the oxygen. It was this visceral experience of being part of my biosphere. Astronauts see our world and our biosphere from the outside, but the net result is that we all have this incredible connection to our planet, to the human family that inhabits it. Can I just say on a personal level, she was one of the most fun interviews of my life. She is clearly really excited about this. So I asked her, what was the appeal of a balloon? The balloon really allows us to be, you know, very accessible to people who either don't want to or can't get onto a rocket, you know, with all the high Gs and the vibe and all of that, right? So this goes to space at the roaring speed of 12 miles an hour. So it's incredibly gentle. So the plan is that a pilot will take eight passengers on a six hour round trip journey to about 100,000 feet up. That's above 99% of the Earth's atmosphere. The passenger capsule, about five meters in diameter, and the balloon itself is about 100 meters when it's fully inflated with hydrogen. And these trips, they're gonna be for early risers plan for pre-dawn departures to get the best views. That's when you're gonna see the most incredible starscape you could ever imagine. We want, we really want you, you to be able to see that before the sun comes up. And then the sun will start coming up and you'll, that's when you'll really see the curvature of the earth and you'll totally get that our planet is a ball in space. Passengers get two hours in the stratosphere to take all those selfies they can handle. And there's even a bar. So you can celebrate the fact that you've now joined an incredibly exclusive club. Less than 20 people have ever been to this region of, of our atmosphere. So, you know, there's also the opportunity to, to get some firsts here as well, which is also pretty cool. And yes, there's a bathroom on board, which Space Perspective describes as the loo with the best view in the universe. And that of course begs the question, Will this mark the beginning of the 18.9 Mile High Club? No? Anyone? Okay, moving on. Once the two hours is up, it's another two hour float down to the ocean where passengers will board a waiting ship. And Space Perspective doesn't expect just to be carrying passengers. The company hopes these trips can offer opportunities for scientific research. The stratosphere, which is technically where we're going, um, is sometimes called the ignorosphere because it's quite difficult to get to and so there's been very little research done in this particular area. And we have the opportunity to take researchers instruments on board every flight that we take. For any researcher who's done research in space, they know how rare it is to get multiple opportunities to do a, an experiment. Pointer says she'd also like to provide opportunities for people like artists and spiritual leaders to see the Earth from space. So, with companies like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic all vying to sell tickets to space, this is a really interesting alternative. 125 grand isn't exactly cheap, but it's about half the price we expect Virgin Galactic to charge for a ride on Spaceship Two, which is expected to start operations soon. And Poitner says passenger rides, just the beginning. 
I can envision concerts in space. We can envision live streaming a, a classroom session from space to kids around the world. How inspiring would that be if you were a child, right? Oh, that would be so awesome. A space perspective expects the first test flight to launch early next year from NASA's Kennedy Space Center but they're planning several launch sites around the world. Now, there's no word when they expect to launch commercial operations, but they're taking seat requests right now so you can reserve your spot in line, no money down. So what do you think? Would you rather see the curvature of the Earth from a rocket or a balloon? Let us know in the comments below.